Hey guys, welcome to Chat with KST. It's your girl K, and today we are talking Lotto. So Lotto dropped her new song Lottery, and she's been promoting it and pushing her song as she should, like all celebrities do. However, she has been receiving some backlash because the producer on her soundtrack is Dr. Luke. So I'm going to try to um, articulate this without seeming biased against Lotto because I, you know me, I love me some Nicki Minaj, but I just feel like it has to be said right now before we jump into the negative things that the fans had to say about lotto working with dr luke someone who was allegedly accused of rape let's go back a couple months right a couple months ago um lotto had gone into it with Nicki Minaj about the Grammys and the categories and things of that sort, you know, it's, it's okay common for those things to happen for, you know, two artists to not agree. Perfect. Perfectly fine. I spoke about that too on my channel, but nonetheless, moving on from that, in that, moving on from that, in that situation, right at the end of it, Lotto clapped back at Nicki Minaj and on one of the things that she had to say about Nicki Minaj was that Nicki Minaj's husband is allegedly a rapist or you know her brother being accused of certain things with her brother being with someone younger you know like just a lot of negative things surrounding um perhaps like insinuating um that Nicki Minaj is surrounded by rapists and stuff like that and in Nikki's defense, it's like, first of all, I can't control what my brother do or who my brother loves. One, two, my husband was young, was that a, was very, very young when this happened. They were around the same age group. One person says it's consent, the other person says it's something else, right? So in Nikki's defense, she has her own life to live. R Nikki's not a rapist. Nikki hasn't been accused of anything of that sort. So Nikki, for the most part, is just having a conversation with you about the Grammys. Keep it to the Grammys. But because Lotto wanted to hit below the belt, she started to point fingers at the people that Nikki Minaj was surrounded by. Now, you can understand why a couple months later, right, following her saying these things negatively about Nicki Minaj why the fans would hit Lotto basically with these allegations of like you're a fake activist basically because one minute you are saying this person is wrong for being around a group of people while you're working with Dr. Luke, someone who's been accused of rape and he essentially produced her song. So let's get into the negative comments that everyone has to say. So Black Sea Blog said, where's the outrage? Lotto, did you look into who produced your new song? Performative activism. Mula says, I just found out that Dr. Luke produced Lotto's new song, Lottery. That The fact that women are still working with a known rapist slash abuser is crazy as fuck to me. Jean says, at Lotto, why did you work with Dr. Luke? You're the one who talks about the rapist, but still with the rapist. Isn't that funny? So, in life, it, it is my belief that what you put out there is what you're going to get back in return. I felt like if Lotto a couple months ago would have stuck to just addressing the issue with Nicki Minaj about the Grammy and not try to bring her personal people that are in her corner and try to like insinuate something negatively about these people, I feel as though she wouldn't be receiving the same backlash now right and it's crazy because i was in um church just to get a little holier than thou but i was in church this um sunday which was yesterday and i remember my pastor saying something along the lines of we're the one who essentially bring things upon ourselves 
because we condemn other people for doing the same things that we do so she's over there condemning Nicki Minaj for for being surrounded by whoever she's surrounded by but hey you're working with someone who's also been accused and what you throw out there you wanted the fans to attack Nicki Minaj and they didn't but essentially now that you've worked with dr luke it's like hey was it performative activ activism was it that you were mad at Nicki minaj and you wanted to set like sh throw slugs her way so you said negative things about the people that she's surrounded by but then not realizing that your inner circle or the people that you're working with also has certain accusations i just felt like she shouldn't have said anything. I felt like she should have kept it to the Grammys and um, or else she wouldn't be receiving this. And as people, we just have to remember that, like, just take that as a quick lesson. Like if you're able to, um, and I was thinking about it this morning, like if you and someone have a problem, let's say you're in hot water. No, let's say someone else is in hot water, right? You're dealing with someone and they're in hot water and or whatnot and you work amicably with this person and you're like hey like let's fix this problem like let's work together whatever don't you think that when you're in hot water that person is gonna be like hey let me help you i mean sometimes it doesn't work out but some, many times it does because that person remembers that hey this person was there for me right but if you try to throw slugs at somebody else you expect for slugs to be thrown at you and Nicki Minaj haven't said a word but you try to do that to her which is why I feel like Lotto's receiving what she gave out a couple months ago but again I could just be a Nicki Minaj fan a barb out here in these streets so let me know what you guys think do you guys think hey two totally different situations or do you think hey I totally agree with you Lotto sh um, shouldn't have said anything a couple months ago or she wouldn't be experiencing this I I just kind of want to hear what your thought processes are so share your thoughts and comments down below in the comment section if you're watching this on youtube and if you're listening to this through apple Podcasts or spotify what's up i'll talk to all of you guys next time laters bye